Text P, it's your boy. Here we go. We here with hip hop since 1987. Let's go. Shout my hip hop since 1987, niggas. Hip hop since 1987.com. What's good? It's your boy Rick Dange here with an artist that's focused on ending the year with a bang, Texas P. What's good with you, bro? Man, not too much, man. I'm chilling. Okay, you man. Know, it's, working. A, it's a pleasure that you took the trip down uh, to Philly to come rock with me. Yeah, 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 so, yeah, man. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. This isn't the first time we met, but this is the first time you've been on my camera. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, so for the people that's watching this that might not know you, let them know how you got your name, what your name is, and where you're from. Okay. Okay. Um, Texas P. Um, I come from Fort Worth, Texas. That's where I'm born and raised from. Um, Texas P stands for Texas, Pennsylvania, middle name Baltimore fan. Y'all don't understand what that means. It's the states that I significantly have laid a mark in. So that's my name. Okay. okay. Now you mentioned Texas, obviously. That's the main part of your name. Of course. Um, what was your life like growing up in Texas, and what hurdles did you have to get over to get to the point that you're at right now in your career? A lot, man, a lot. But I left Texas at 17, so when I left Texas, you know, I left Texas kind of just looking for something else, you know, um, escaping really a lot of things. So I didn't really have a dad or a mom. I was raised by my grandmother, you know, rest her soul. She passed away. Um, that was the woman that kind of raised me to be sensitive, to be kind, to be, you know, to be a man. So that's the woman that raised me. And then my mother came back in my life after 17, and then she just kind of took it from there. So, you know, Texas, it was one of those states I just wanted to leave behind. But then when I got up here, it was everything. So, yeah. Now, what actually influenced you to get into music? Actually, music has always been a part of, um, of my life. I actually went state in Texas for trumpet. So um, okay. I actually play uh, a variety of different instruments and trumpet being the best one. So um, I played in the Texas State Choir for a year. So uh, music, I know how to read, write, and and lyrically recite uh, okay. sheet music. So, you know, music's always been equipped with what I do. Okay. So you went from your love of the trumpet and instruments. Mm -hmm. How did that take you into actually rapping? Honestly, you know, back in the day when you used to go to school, you used to do the talent shows. For sure. Well, I did every talent show, and then my my cousin had a group in Texas, and you know they used to do the escape thing, and I was always Jermaine Dupri. You know what I mean? <laughs> it was it was crazy, but that was the first time I was on stage that really made me feel myself okay. to be like, yo, this is where I belong. You know what I mean? Okay. Now, what would you say is going to separate you from other artists that's making music? First, I'm gonna say I'm still I'm still old school. So I spit balls. I'm I'm all about balls. I it ain't no it ain't no no talk of toys with me. I'm a, I'm gonna come straight at it. And then on top of that, I have a lot of I have a lot of different feel in me. You know, I was raised in the South, so you hear it all in my mouth. But I I was also raised and 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 lived on the East for this long, for the last 20 years. So I have equipped myself with kind of both genres of music and both flavors to be able to bring that to my music as well. All right, now we were talking about what separates you from other artists that's in your position trying to get to the next level. Um, but one of the things that I know for sure separates you from a lot of artists is that you have a resume of working with a lot of big people already at this point in your career. Yeah. Um, what's some of the people that you've worked with, production, features that you could tell us about? I, um First, I, I gotta give a shout out, uh, Big Boy Engineer Avery Chambliss. You know what I'm saying? Avery is the boss of the bosses when it comes to the beat. So I gotta give a shout out to Avery Chambliss. That was my first um, actual producer when it came down when I came in the game. So I'm a big shout out to Avery Chambliss, uh, Uncle Panther. Uh, I want to make sure that I give a a major a major production credit. You know, or I'm sorry, feature credit because my song I'm a Rider was with Swiss Beats and Junior Reed. So that was a major feature that I had as well. And then I want to big, give a huge shout out to 
my boy Rick the villain. You know that was that was Buster's uh, protege at one point. So uh, Rick the villain, I have a song with Rick the villain called Problems. That's also everywhere. You can check that out. Um, and then I also got the homie, the Tennessee boy, my other selling brother, uh, Jelly Roll. I got I got a track with Jelly Roll. You know what I mean? Right now, that's bananas <laughs> that's bananas that's that's killing all over spotify so i've done i've done a lot of different you know projects i got one coming out with another local artist not cool out of pa this major crazy artist so I, I just have a lot of things that i've been wrapped up doing making sure that i come out with the best product a lot of them been a lot of pricey <laughs> a bit pricey but you know i'm learning mistakes and and we have in the game but we have them and I'm here now, so. <laughs> so as an independent artist, have you have you been building relationships with these people, or have you busted? Yeah, I actually, I mean, I mean, me and Jelly sat down. I shot about a video and stuff with Jelly. So Jelly told me some keys, man. You know what I mean? Okay. Uh, Reek, me and Reek sat down for a, a, a whole day and just told me some keys. He's a homie, so to what I would look up to, because they had already been there. They'd already been in some of the, the predicaments that I know that I'm gonna have to face when I come into the game. So they 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 was telling me a lot of things that I would need to know. Okay. You know what I mean? So, and also, Junior, Junior, yeah, <laughs> so, you know, that's enough said. You know, he's smoking weed and I do, and I right. smoke a lot. So, right. when it comes down to it, like, these will, these will impacts in my life that I probably won't ever forget. You know what I mean? So, how did you feel when you got the Junior Reed and Swiss Beats uh, record done? Like, I like I made it. I, I, felt, I felt like, you know, that was it. And I ain't really have to do too much after that. You know, right. But... What's the name of that record again for the people? I'm a rider. Okay. Check it out. I'm a rider. Featuring Junior Reed and Swiss Beats. Now you mentioned a southern influence, a up north influence. Mm -hmm. How would you actually describe your music? Uh, a little, a little trappy. I, I try. I'm trying to get out of that right now. But I, I was raised in the hood, so that's what I. That's what I speak about. That's what I know. So I speak about what I've seen, what I've gone through, or what I've known others to go through. So. What I try to relate to my music is the things that we've seen, and the hood is what I've seen. I can't, I can't, I can't really present to you anything preppy type because I ain't never seen that. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you about the dope house down the street because right, right. that's what I'm used to. You right. know what I mean? And you know, I'm telling everybody we're gonna change the title from trap rap to yeah, reality. To right? reality, bro. I love yeah. that. So you spitting reality. Shout out to I love it. <laughs> Speaking of reality rap. Let's go a little further into that. Okay. Uh, what is your reality and break down some of the different things that you've been through in your life to make you have that stamp of somebody that spits reality rap? Okay. Um, you know, I grew up game banging. You know what I mean? That's the reality of things. Uh, I grew up without a father. You know, my father was locked up since I was nine, so I didn't really know him. And, uh, you know, being a father. The reality of things is being married for as long as I have. I've been I've been married with my wife for like 20 years. So for me to be the total opposite of my dad was a great accomplishment and a great, you know, supersede to me for everything that I've done so far. So, you know, everything got something to do with that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, now, you mentioned being in a gang. Um, how, and you're not, you're not, 17 anymore no, you know what I mean so no. you've survived you've yeah. been able to get from a young kid in the streets to being in front of me right now with a business right and a real situation role right how are you able to transition from the streets to where we at right now honestly yep leaving home okay at the leaving home was the biggest transition of my life because when I left home I was able to leave a lot of that behind and I didn't have to be that person anymore. Right. So when I came to the East Coast, they just know me to be Terrell. Right. They didn't know me to be, but, but don't get it twisted. You right. know, of it course, me you, being you know me, I, mean? I brought it with me, you know what I'm saying? But allow it allowed me to be me, you know what I'm saying? So I, 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 I branched myself on that. Now, don't get me twisted. I am who I am and I always will be. For sure. But now I'm able to see myself as somebody else. Okay. Now, what's your long-term goal with the music? Billboard chart. And I know it really don't mean nothing. It's just, I just, I want to push myself to the greatest of the great, of the great, great, of the greatest. So it's like, you know, Billboard charting is the short-term 
I'm going to say that again. Billboard charting is the short-term goal that I want to set for myself to be able to say I'm rocking with the best, man. Say I'm, I'm here now. I'm, I'm, I can do this. Okay. Now, is the plan for you and your team to stay independent or are y'all trying to get a deal? What's, what's the blueprint looking like? Wherever the money for. Okay, so you're open at any option as long as the situation and the money is right. As long as it's my team that's coming with me, I don't care really. As long as the money is right, I'm with I got a family to feed. Okay. That's first. All right. Now, you're not just a musician, but you're also a businessman. Mm -hmm. um, tell us about your business, Aggravated Entertainment, and some of the challenges you faced so far before you started working with Hooks. Um, um. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> Blowing money. Okay. All right. Let me rephrase that. Let me rephrase that because that's not blowing. I don't see me blowing money now because, but yes, I'm going to say it very bluntly, blowing money because the first thing that we did is we spent a lot of money. Shout out to Herman Quisada. That's, that's who also co-owned Aggravated Entertainment with me. So uh, we own the record label together. That is like my brother, the closest thing I have on the East Coast. So when we got into the game, on thing we thought is, you know, we come with a couple of dollars, we're going to get on. Or we get the right person, we're going to get on. And we spent money, 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 money. You know what I mean? Okay. We spent money, money, like, I'm, you know, 40, 50,000 into the game to make sure that we stamped ourselves and we still were there trying to figure out what we did wrong. Right. You know what I'm saying? So when I seen when I seen my bro come along, like, when we was doing shows, me and Hooks was doing shows together already, and we didn't even know each other. So when we came along, it was just like, all right, full speed ahead. He got to grind. I got to grind. Let's do it together. And he had already had the blueprint. So it was basic math to me. It was a chess move. So. Okay. Now, for people that are watching this, that are like, who's Hooks? Who's Hooks? Big, um, big, big Hooks big, is big, your manager big, and your big, partner. Big, big, and he's actually in the room with us right now. Big, um, big, what's big, your experience been like working with Hooks? Um, and how has your results been for uh, <laughs> music and things that you've been doing? Your single, how, how's things going? With, I'm going to say, man, I'm going to say, I'm, I'm going to say this, right? I'm here now. That's a that's a big sense. Like I've I've now don't give me two say I deserve it. Like I've 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 laid milestones and I've 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 worked my ass off. You know, but I know that without hooks I wouldn't be here. So Okay. Okay. That's what it is. All right. Well, let's talk about the music a little bit more. Um we're here today because you have a new single that's heating up the streets called No Promo. Uh -huh. Um, talk to us about the single from the production and how you actually created the record. Um, you know, I got I've, I've been doing this for a very long time, and I got a, a lot of friends in the game, and you know, I got a lot of friends that want to get into the game. You know, okay, uh, young producers that come to me all the time and give me stuff and show love to me, or get, you know, make take a couple hours off. You know, yeah, for sure, and. Um, this song evolved kind of just out of the out of the darkness you know i was going to do something and i was on my way to the studio i wrote it in the car on the way to the studio hooks had time he said get in there and i threw i threw a beat on and i and that's what came out with it everything in that song is facts i wanted to make sure of it and i just wanted to make it head hard like i wanted to make it custom because you know there's so many styles out there there's so many rappers there's so many different nice dudes if you can see i do a different combination you know i tried to i tried to make sure that i was competing with the best that i am one of the best so that's what i tried to show now the video just premiered on bt jams and vh1 congratulations on thank that. you thank you um, who actually shot and directed the video and what was it like putting that video together we had aim and shoot to, to direct half and, and really kind of just put the finishing touches on it. We had Bangle Boy Studios out of for, out of Arlington, Texas, uh, do a lot of the scenes and you know what I mean? So when it came down to it, we flew all the way to Texas, you know what I mean? I shot the video on my, on my late grandmother's front step like I'm supposed to. You know, shot it right in my hood like I was supposed to. Right. And then put it on TV like I was supposed <laughs> to. <laughs> Facts. Now, what's the plan for after the summer? Man. The plan is the, the plan is to 
to make sure that my family eat off of everything that I'm doing. So that's focus first. I want to make sure that the music gets to the people. I want to make sure that everybody has an opportunity to give me a check. Okay. That's what I want to do. I want to make myself valuable. I want to make myself financially stable. That's it. Okay. Now, before this record, you had another single that was big. Um, we had two big singles. You had I'm So Hot, and then you had Nothing On Me oh, yeah. featuring Big Hugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what was it like releasing both of those singles, and what did you learn from putting out those singles to where you at now with the new single? Fast pace, fast pace, and and and, and hooks. It's, it's it's showing me like you know, you know, any moment it, it could happen, and only thing you gotta do is just stay consistent, stay diligent, and yet time will come. And throughout this process, that's all you showed me. So, and it kind of came to face. So, okay, here with it. Now you've been killing them with the singles, features your own, as well as jump on other features. Are you currently working on an album or EP? And if you are, can you tell us anything about it? I think we're about to drop the EP. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give them, I'm gonna give them a whole package of, of nice hits that I done put together. Probably come in the first quarter or something, you know, something like that. Give them something nice. You got a title or anything? I got so many right now, you know. I'm, you know what? I'm gonna throw a few out there, and I'm gonna let the fans pick it. I want the fans to pick my title, so I want to make sure that they make sure that they got a a, a total impact on my music because they is the reason why I'm here. For sure. Are you gonna drop another single before you drop the project? Or of course, just... I'm gonna drop another single, another video, and everything. Everything come come with a single and a video. I'm gonna make sure I give it to them right. You already know what it is. The next single on the video. Ah, might be saucy. Okay. Saucy might be coming, right? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's what, what's the saucy record about? We trapping, baby. <laughs> 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 That's what it took to get to get us here. So we we we, we trapping, baby. Okay. Okay. Now if somebody's watching this and they never heard your music before. What's the first song or video they should look up on you? Hmm. There's so many. Um. <laughs> I mean, you go pro you, if you go no promos, you gonna go back and see who I am. So I'm gonna say the promos where it's at, man. You check me out on no the promos where we you gonna you definitely gonna get a, a vibe of who I am. Okay. Do you have any upcoming shows that people want to come see you perform? You got anything coming up? Yeah, we might be in D.C. at the festival tomorrow. So okay, pull up. You know, this is what we doing, man. We going everywhere. Okay. Um, being that you're an artist that has lived in Texas, the DMV, mm -hmm. Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. um, how do you feel about the music industry as a whole in 2019? There's a lot of competitors. There's a lot of really, really nice MCs. I would love to work with everybody. I'm, 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 I'm a very open artist, you know what I'm saying? So I would love to work with everybody. I, I would love to be able to you know, hang out amongst greats and be able to pick their minds and producers and engineers and writers and different just co brands of of other of the coaches, man. I wanna do it all, so I'm ready. Do you have like a dream collabo if right now uh, literally I can pick my phone up, call whatever producer Drake. and whatever feature. Drake. So the feature would be Drake who would make the beat. I, I said Dre. Oh Dre. Yeah. Okay. Dr. Yeah, Dre would make the beat. Dr. Dr. Who would, who would be, the, make feature? be the major feature? And it ain't even gotta be a feature. Like I, nah, I'm you already say, got the Dre beat. That's a little The Dre beat and I'ma I'm say, I'ma say, I'ma say, you know, talking I gotta get face. And and my feature gotta be bun. Like Okay. That's what it is. I'ma text this nigga all the way. All right, for the people that's watching this that want to follow you on social media, give me your, all your handles, social, your Instagram, Twitters, SoundCloud, everything you got. Man. Text P717. You can look me up on anywhere in there. I'm in there. Okay. That's it. All right. Well, is there anything else you want to leave the people with before we get out of here? Man, I want everybody, to every artist out there, I just want to say, make sure that 
if you come into this game, take this game serious because if we taking this game serious, we put our own money into this. We make sure that we, we, we show up to sessions. We make sure we show up to interviews on time. We make sure that we come and we focus and we dedicate it to our job. So take it as a job and not as a craft. I'm trying to get it to where we making sure that we doing it on an independent level and we don't need nobody else. And I'm going to make sure I do that. So the third part. Okay. All right. Well, everybody that's watching this, make sure you go grab Texas P's no promo single available on all outlets. Make sure you check the video out. It's on BT, VH1, YouTube. It's everywhere. Um, it's your boy Rick Danes signing out with Hip Hop since 1987. Shout my Hip Hop since 1987, niggas. Hip Hop since 1987.com.